right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for The Devil is a Part-Timer, part -timer. Episode, episode 12. Haha. -ha. The penultimate finale. Yes, yes. And uh, Chi Chen has been kidnapped. Yeah. And in particular, everything seems to be converging. Yes, but uh, in towards like, some kind of a showdown. But but in the worst possible way for the heroes because Ashia's in the hospital. No! And Susano was with Sentucky. No! But at least Mao is on his Dulahan with the broom. Yes. Going to save the day. And maybe Emmy will be able to uh, help him, help Bubba him Baka. in some way. But uh, yeah. yeah, she maybe she didn't, Mickey T she didn't do well. No, Mickey T is not back yet, Jacob. <laughs> but she could show up at the last possible moment. <laughs> <laughs> save the day. Deus sex Mickey Tina. <laughs> Anyways, I just came with that on the spot. That was genius. But uh, yeah, I want to see Mao absolutely destroy uh, Mr. Sentucky. I, I, hate, right. I hate that guy. I don't even care enough to remember his name. He shoves He's... a burger in his mouth and then just punches him. And then he makes him pay for it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And Ash is in the back, like, I'm so proud and of you. And he doesn't offer him a coupon. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, we're excited. This is going to be awesome. Without further ado, let's get into this. Yes, the perfect way to start the episode. <laughs> with LCL. Yeah. My buddy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll figure out a way. Oh, a cute nurse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> yep. I oh. Knew it. Whoa. Holy crap. He's strong for an old guy. Well, yeah, he's got magic. Well, right. Hmm. Oh my. Uh, uh, what? what? Holy crap. Jeez. Holy crap. Alright. At least they're leaving a signal for Oh, oh, whoa. Barrier? <laughs> Although... Whoa! <laughs> he sensed the attack. <laughs> <笑>ドラハンゴになってくれたの。ドラハンゴになってくれたの。ドラハンゴになってくれたの。ドラハンゴになってくれたの。ドラハンゴになってくれたの。ドラハンゴになってくれたの。ドラハンゴになってくれた
月に近づくほど力が強くなる魔力のないお前では万が一にも勝ち目はないオルボ久しぶりだなルシフェル出所できたんだ<笑>元気そうだねまあなもう一度私と一緒に来い、うん、その望み叶えてやるあ<笑>直接その体内から取り出すしかないようだ直接、uh... 何するつもりを君の肉体から直接政権ベタンハーフのもとで天輪を採取するのだよヤサさんに何するんですかこの変態君の体も後でたっぷりと全身くまなく調べてあげる Yeah, he has to be scummy scum in order to allow to take him down Yes. Haha, <laughs> yes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go that far. Ah, ha, ha. He has to use the stand. And he has a physical body. I know, yeah. He's not bound by them. And yet he's climbing the stairs. He's bound by gravity and all those other things. Permanent employee. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> What's with all the stances on his sight? <laughs> Finally got here. <laughs> it's like Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, yeah. Like, Stairs. Yeah, and now she's like, What, what are you doing? <laughs> That's right. Yes! How dare you! And she's just like, Oh my heart! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Watch. Chi Chen's just gonna get like super mad and beat the crap out of him. Tactical Mickey T? Oh, Orba and Lucifer oh. getting involved. Let's see what their game is. Getting his magical uh, energy uh, bit thing. Okay. Yep, all this uh, right. frustration and negative yep. energy is going to be potentially. <gasps> <laughs> yes! <Whoa>. Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing! <laughs> Neat! <laughs> oh, okay, good. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be bad. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Yes! Oh, good, good. I mean, you kind of let Emmy be tortured, but, you know. I reject your false justice. Well said, Suzuno. Don't mean Suzaku? <laughs> Well played, Lucifer. Ah! Yes! 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 Y
Showing off now. Whoa! Huh? What? He made him 2D! What was that? Uh, uh, he... Yeah! Oh! Yeah! She punched him! Yeah! What? What? Oh, oh, wait. Well, okay. Okay. She was kind of infused with his. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh Put me down already. Hey. <laughs> what? 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 Well played. I well think played. he did. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Wait! Please show us the destruction. Oh my god. Yes. And there's the handprint on his face. Yes. What can be more important? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> You're really late! <laughs> because he must be dressed for the occasion. <laughs> okay, oh. They, they, they all wrapped all that up with a nice little bow. Perfectly um, uh, concluding all the conflict yep. potential for the time being, mm -hmm. and uh, really just one-shotting uh, Sariel-sama. I love the string of insults slung at him from yes. all the girls. That was great. Like that was like great. Every single bit that makes him a, a scummy villain uh -huh. was brought to the forefront so that we got the perfect amount of satisfaction to just see him go down and then eventually he was like hey i didn't go that far <laughs> yeah she's like penny sniffer he's like i didn't go that far <laughs> <laughs> he acknowledges to some extent that he's a total scumbag head pervert yeah, you know, yeah scumbag yeah. peeping tom or whatever but no he he's didn't. like hey come on now <laughs> it's like oh in a lifetime of evil at least he didn't add animal cruelty to the list <laughs> right exactly <laughs> and then of course ashia Oh, in, yeah. in true yes. amazing fashion, went back to get his clothes yes. before he mm -hmm. went back because you have to do it in style. He's not a you monster. You have to be after all. regal in order to That's right. have a defeat over your. You uh, can't dishonor your, your lord your by enemies. showing up in a right. hospital gown. You know that just wouldn't do. What would have been great is to show if like LCL arrives and he realizes that he looks more regal than the Dark Lord. So he's like, "Please, my lord, I offer you my cloak and everything <laughs> for what little it could mean to improve your uh, standing That's and your right. stature in this great moment of triumph." I, yes. I love how when when Mal finally showed up and he's. Just in his boxers, right? <laughs> yes. You know, with with the shoes and the really long socks. That's right. Remember, though. yes, yes, the shoes and the really long socks. <laughs> those those make and, it. <laughs> and uh, Chi Chan's like, Masan, and then she's like, Masan. Like, <laughs> like I, I would have liked if they did like a little bit more on that joke of like, wear your clothes. Why, <laughs> like? <laughs> but it also wasn't the typical like nosebleed like. Oh That's my true. god, he's basically naked. Well, it was anything, more of the I thing thought that like... was that was kind of a funny joke about it too because the idea that when he's not in his, you know, 
full Satan form. form. He's, he's actually kind of a regular body, yeah, like yeah. little skinny kid. So it's not like it's it's not like it's very uh, sensual right. to see him with his shirt off. Right, right. And, but of course, once he got into his full Satan form, he posed for them and everything. He's like, "Don't worry, this underwear is made of the finest materials. <laughs> it won't break." There were so many kind of little fourth wall, just like oh, oh, yeah. poking hints and stuff. Yep. Uh, this is this is the kind of stuff where you're like, I know that they can't have these types of episodes, op- like in a row, like multiple of them in a row, mm-hmm. because the gimmick of them is that we're not going to get them frequently. Exactly. The value yeah. of them is accentuated because right. they're less frequent. Yep. Because yep. we've seen them in the slice of life comedy setup, we don't have like the proper like mindset to be ready for when the awesome crazy exactly action happens well, and it also with helps the comedy it also helps keep us from taking it too seriously exactly because when exactly. they do things like this yes there's the spectacle of it all right and it's very awesome to watch sure but still at its core it's a comedy beat down right like yes. you know so they, they they keep that in balance which was really nice i love that he is not bound by the ideals of this physical world and then he's like ah, ah, climbing up the stairs and i mean gravity does not equal ideals but it's just funny to see him yeah. being like yeah i gotta climb the stairs because the elevator isn't working <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah oh that stuff's fantastic although poor Ashia, two iv bags two iv bags that's you, Orba, you are a sick, twisted priest. Well, Orba, Orba, I don't get what his game was. So he he, he was boosting Sario. He was boosting Sario, but he boosted um, he boosted Mao as well. Right, exactly. It's one of those things where it's like, come on, like put two and two together, like because it seemed like what he was doing initially was he was opening a portal to let magic into, like a right. big portal to let. Entiila magic through, but I guess what he was actually doing was making the moon closer. Right, but because of him doing that, that caused the chaos and confusion and all right. that, which fed the demons' magic. Exactly, Lucifer and yep. Mao, aka right. you know Satan, and uh, actually, made them Satan. stronger than the uh, amount of sacred right. power they were gaining from the moon, which I think is. Yeah. Very clever in that that was built up within the story mm-hmm. a long time ago. Yep. And, and it makes a lot of that sense. Important interrupt. And on, Lucifer on is kind ability. of the MVP of the episode yep. just based on that because mm-hmm. he realizes yep. this and then he senses Lucifer's power. And he's like, <gasps> when he asks him for the bag, he's like, <gasps> You tricked me. And <laughs> he just like, Heaven is a two room six to Tommy. Yes. Matt. You know, place it on the second I, floor of an apartment building. I love being a neat. It's awesome. I was just, yes. Because Lucifer's character had gone through somewhat of an arc, but they stalled his development of sorts right. to make him kind of the butt end of the joke pretty often. Mm-hmm. But by having him say this, we realized that, no, his time through that, he became to he began to enjoy this this kind of exactly. this easy life with yep. no responsibilities. I just sit at home and just browse and the then internet. And he's like, I could really go for some fried chicken, right? <laughs> Which is kind of funny because right at that point, um, Sariel had just been killed. So right. in 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 a lot of ways, it's kind of like him saying he'd like, oh. Mm, he smells some burnt chicken over there. I could really go for some fried chicken. Sariel you know? definitely was a chicken. Well, not entirely. He Sar- did try to fight Mal. Sariel, I would say, is kind of like one of those opportunist villains that gets ambition for an object, sure. but doesn't have a vision of what they're going to do with said object. So they have this like, ah, I'm going to enact some kind of scheme and poke at gods just to see if I can up yeah. my status or something. And then an actual god steps in and just goes, yeah, I'm going to punch you like six weeks back in time and then punch you six weeks back into this time before I punch you into the ground. Like just some stupid overpowered nonsense that he was messing with. That there. would have been really cool if we saw the half of the city that was destroyed. Yeah, they didn't like, show that. Okay, well, okay, hold on a second. Actually, okay, okay, hold on a second. Maybe we did see it. No, no, no. If he destroyed half the city. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't that have killed a few people? Like he might have to do some magical rewind time restate. Yeah, I think that's something he can do though. 
Because well, and, and it might not have been like, okay, the city was destroyed, even though I think they did say that. It could have been like, it's damaged or whatever. Yeah. 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 I, I think that what we've displayed in previous bits is that Mao has plot rewinding powers in right. regards to collateral damage. So as yeah. long as that was in effect, I do not mind in how much yep. it gets fixed. But I like the idea that he is going to lose a lot of his now refilled magical stockpiles right, exactly. because just they have to, to fix the things that he did. And I, I loved that moment where he like legitimately like swore on the, <laughs> the bit where he dodged the attack from uh sorry <laughs> oh. and it blows up like two oh, buildings yes. and he's like holy shit like, yeah. he has this, like oh like i have to stop this and i have yeah. to like kind of i have to dodge when i'm above him right you know? right <laughs> i can't let this damage the city and then of course he's like no unforgivable you scared chicha and he pulls out his his demonic sword and, and, and of his, course his unholy weapon and yep. lays waste to half the city and, Freaking hypocrite. <laughs> right. And and then, of course, there's the whole idea that there's this whole thing of, like, because she's, an, uh, you know, an underemployee, yes. and I'm the shift, I'm the, I'm the, of uh, the fill-in manager, you know, and I'm the, I'm the shift lead and everything, and Chi Chen's just sitting there like, of course, that of course. is the only reason why yeah. you're here to save me. Yeah. There's, you know, it doesn't, you, you don't care about me as a person at all. It kind of sucks for Chi Chen in a lot of ways, because... Mao recently, in terms of just time, it was probably about three episodes ago, confessed everything to Mao. Yeah. And he just kind of was like, oh, yeah, I think you're great. Like, he basically gave her that response. Right. Well, and then at this point here where uh -huh. he could have basically just been like, well, I care about her. And that would have been enough. Even if he's being, like, yeah. kind of vague. Right. She would have been, been like, like uh, ah! Like, but you know, been like, like, it would have been at least like, okay. He's not a complete dunce. Well, and especially because, okay, Suzano did ask him, you know, at the point when Chi-Chen did confess. That's true. She asked him about it, and he was like, yeah, I kind of need to at least, you know, do something <laughs> about that. that that's, that's also so, true. Yeah. You know. I do like how Emmy Yusa was just so done with the whole situation. She, like, went full un-Sundere, like, at the end there. And you called yeah, her yeah, out yeah. on it. You're like, wow, a Sundere who doesn't babaka him, like, at the, uh -huh. you know... Catch me thing. She's just like, oh, good grief. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. Just put me down. <laughs> yeah. I, I I kind of almost expected, like, uh, Lucifer to come up with her purse. And she'd just be like, okay, all right. This is probably going to have some interesting side effects. Then just glip, 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 glip. And it's like, okay. <clears throat> and we're actually going to see the slap. Uh, sure. Because that slap came from Emmy. Like, it had to, right? Probably. The, the, the face mark on yeah, yeah, Mao's, probably. Mao's cheek. Yeah. yeah. It certainly didn't come from Chi Chen or Ashia or Lucifer. Or Susano. Susano probably couldn't reach that high. <laughs> I mean, Chi Chen probably couldn't either. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, it was Emmy. Yeah. yeah. It was Emmy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, good rip in piece. Nope. Rip in pieces. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry, I'll, Sorry, whatever. I'll, whoever Sintucky. you are, Sintucky guy. I like yeah. that they never even brought up why he was covered in cologne. Like, that was never yeah. ever brought up. But, like, it's obvious why he was. But it also could have just been because he's that Cause he's, terrible of a person. Yeah, because he's, I'm a nice guy. Like, I think of, when I think of Sariel, I think of them kind of making fun of those people that are like, I'm very nice to women. Like, oh yes, I am, I am such a gentleman. And they're like the most like pretentious like dickheads of all, all time, and this is basically his character. Because if they're all mocks of like specific caricatures mm -hmm. and tropes in anime, sure, he's kind of a mock on the good guy. Like I'm just a okay. nice guy. I thought... that's why he's from heaven. Mm -hmm. He's a sure. pretentious little prick. Okay, and he you know what I is thought. the pervert and everything. Now. This may just be me. Oh, okay. But when I see hair in that shade of blue, my mind goes to only one place. Oh, oh, And oh, that is the oh. Fate <laughs> series. He reminded me more of like a... Like a... Shinji? Like a discount Shinji. Like... Yeah. Like... Yeah. And that's saying something <laughs> when you're saying a discount Shinji. Yeah, if you haven't seen the Fate stuff, uh, like, yeah, Shinji is basically like the most cancerous individual in yeah. that show. And that's that's with like serial killers and stuff in the same right. like universe so yeah 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, but so, I mean, hey, they had to make sure that he was completely irredeemable, with no likable characteristics or whatever mm-hmm. whatsoever. That way, Mal could actually kill him. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and he died when he was killed. Like he, he was well, yeah, super we can dead. So at least, yeah. Hopefully, I, he doesn't join the group. Oh god, if they have a thing I, at the no. end of this ep- mm-hmm. next episode where it's like. I'm so sorry for what I did. I'm like, ah, oh, mm. forget this. Like, I, I will actually be upset. But yeah. I think that based on how the intro is set up, right. remember, yes. remember how yep. the intro mm-hmm. shows right. Chi Chen right. kind of looking at a group of characters? Oh, uh, that's the ending. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah. But um, yeah, Sariel is not there. <laughs> right, exactly. If anything, yeah. those two others from Entiila were more present than Sariel was. True. Mickey that's true. Mickey T was, and that's, that's the right. Opening. Even that's Mickey the T was in the opening. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm excited to That's see good. what they do with the next episode, though, because since mm-hmm. since this was kind of the epic conclusion, right? Right, it, it totally it's could the, have been. It's the fantasy epic finale with the right. grand battle and all that. Yep, that means that the next episode, in another situation, I might think it's going to be just like another comedy episode, and mm-hmm. I'm sure there will be it a probably bunch of comedy. Will be. But since it's also the last episode, they're probably going to do some things different, you know, sure. shake things up. So that I'm really curious to see what exactly they do. If there ends up being yeah. any kind of, you know, that, again, that clip that I harp on so much from the opening of Chi Chan hugging the pillow, if oh. there's anything like that in here, because if they did all this and then they somehow figured out a way to have there be a kind of a sad ending to mm. it, like, that could be great. Yeah, I, I think it's not, going to be a little but... bit, like, 30% recap from previous stuff. Okay. About 30% of them figuring out kind of what, what happens next. And maybe about 40% of them just kind of doing the slice of life bit, true to form of what this show is about. Sure. And maybe, like, within that 40%, there's little moments where characters have, like, very specific moments that have been building up towards. That we've been building up towards. I think Chi Chan in particular could use a good one. I think Mm -hmm. Mao and uh emmy separately not necessarily together Mm -hmm. but could have something like that as well because emmy might need to come clean about how she's now no longer going to try to kill mao sure and anything she's like okay if you're willing to stay here yeah and this is now your life I fully condone that, yep. and in fact, I will help you. Like right. I will, I will be a party to it. That's right. And we can be friends now. There we go. And I think that would be a cool mm-hmm. way to blend a little bit of a, a character moment into the comedy bit, and then of course they'll you know hate each other. Well, in, no, like, then, then yeah, movie. then Ashio will come up and be like, "So does that mean all your disrespectful comments towards the Dark Lord will cease?" <laughs> yes, that kind of comedy. I can't wait for that kind of stuff because. The show's dialogue, I think, is really where this show shines. Yeah, it is. It's like, not in the action stuff. Mm-hmm. It's not even in the the characters themselves. It's right. in the banter, the and action the interactions, and all that. But like, yeah, it's and it's the I, banter. I love that stuff. There's a lot of things within this oh, show okay. that are very okay. quotable and <laughs> makes it memorable above and beyond just a typical slice of life kind of comedy, uh, yes. almost parody of the of the harem genre. I've got to say. Since we didn't get any jokes about Mao being in his underwear on the top of the tower, that was very nice that we got some great jokes with that with Susano earlier of, Don your mantle, you... <laughs> <laughs> you freak? Yeah. <laughs> Which is funny, because the, the subtitle said freak, but her, her voice actress said hentai, and I was like, ha! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and in particular, uh, Susano's character having this kind of... Uh, about change made made perfect sense but she also might need a character moment coming in the next episode because her and Orba did sure. not interact in this oh. episode and they have some history together That's and true. maybe Suzuno will go back with Orba and uh, that will be her her uh, kind of her parting gift and it will be sure. kind of a thing of Suzuno maybe feeling a little bit of shame for what she did okay. But Chi Chan will forgive her and say, "No, come back when you're done." And Susan will be like, go. "I don't deserve this, but thank you." Yeah. And it'll be like, "Oh, that's genuine." You're most kind. Like, yes, exactly. It's like, mm, yes. <laughs> would 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 
would Susano be kind of a coup de ray? Just a little bit? Kind of. Kind like of. Yeah. Not really. Not really. Like like I feel like the the tropes that they use in this anime, they don't do them in as extreme ways as right they in the could. most one dimensional way that they could. Right. They it, have extra bits of yeah. dimension here and there. The one that's the most extreme is probably Emmy, but even then, but she's she's, she's, a she's washboard. fairly tame as far as Sundares go. She's kind of two dimensional. She's a washboard. Remember? <laughs> no, no, no. The way you say it is you say, but as a character, she's kind of flat, right? Ah, They've made that pretty clear. Well you know? said. Well yeah. said. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then there's always Chi Chan to add extra layers to you know the story as a whole. Anyhow, guys, this is no, awesome. It's to add extra depth. <laughs> extra depth. Oh my god. All right, guys, this is a lot of fun. If you want to see the next episode's reaction right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access, watch full length yes. reactions, check out our Discord, and yeah, we'll see you there. But until then, we're semblance of sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob, and we'll see you all next time. time.